It's still November, Matt. That means gratitude month here at WBNL Coaching. Today, celebrate your successes. And we're going to have some fun facts on Thanksgiving today on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. Welcome to Wandering But Not Lost, your online source for finding balance so that you can align, connect, and prosper. I'm living right here and now and I don't want to miss out. Is this what life's all about? The world is calling and I'm listening. Yeah, I'm listening. And now your hosts, Jen O'Brien and Matt Emerson. Well, welcome to the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. This is episode 144. You can find all of our show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. Jenna Bryan, we continue being Greek, grateful here in uh, November. Thanksgiving's upon us already next week. Crazy. Okay. Crazy. And I think a lot of people are making the adjustments to the, we're not going to travel. We're going to figure it out. Uh, you shared your thoughts last week about have you guys come up with something that you're going to do with your family, like it's a fun Zoom thing? Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to Zoom. And we, I, I laid out the uh, plan to everyone that, of course, you have, we're going to have to go around the Zoom and do the whole, what, what are you thankful for? Yes. Right, or grateful. Um, and then I asked everyone to pick a quick little um, short, you know, 15 to 20 minute game that their family needed to bring to the team. Okay, that's awesome. So, so we'll see what happens. Okay. Because, you know, I really still didn't have exactly what we want to do yet. So. Okay, very good. Yeah. Uh, before we dive into content today about uh, celebrating your successes and, and kind of bringing back, we're, gonna, we're going to share with you the workshop sheets, the little sheets that you can get, not workshop, I just call them worksheets. They're in the downloads, they're in the notes today for episode 144 over at WBNLpodcast.com. Uh, that'll take you right to the show notes where you can get all this. But let's talk a little bit about uh, what we're doing. Let's, let's promote this workshop that we're doing um, on the second and it's really for our members in WBNL coaching we're going to do a facebook live from our group it's free to join the group you don't have to do anything other than just click on the link and ask to join that's right but i'm really excited matt we matt and i've been practicing doing uh we just did one last week we practiced using our Streamyard software which we love that allows us actually this is what we use to record our podcast every week we just don't go live with it but we've never really played with a live feature that's really what it's designed for right it's pretty cool too it connects right with your Facebook group or page, which is a great tool to use because I have been continually to incur, continuing to encourage all of my coaching clients to get into doing more Facebook Lives, have their weekly show and just broadcast from their group or page. And we're going to follow our own advice. And we're going to start with, actually, we're probably going to do something next week before December 2nd because uh, a couple things that we're announcing today in our group which is, uh, I think it's called the Wanderers Club. Wanderers Club. Uh, if you're watching live on, or you're watching on YouTube, there is a ticker across the bottom that is showing you where to go. But if you just go to Facebook and you type in Wanderers Club. Or it, WBNL Wanderers Club. Go to our group, just uh, request to be accepted and we will accept you into our little private Facebook group. So here's what I'm super excited about. So we're going to obviously post our podcast, our video and our podcast every Friday in the group. But on Mondays and Wednesdays, we're going to do lives, and Matt is going to be doing a weekly tip, and he's decided to share. I can't wait, because I'm going to learn from you. I don't know how many times I've called Matt recently saying, Matt, I have, do not have, know how to do this on Canva. So we just, he decided that, frankly, we could probably do weeks of tips on Yeah, probably one, years of um, Canva. Yeah. Right? Because Canva has got to be something you've got to put into your toolkit this year. And if you haven't already been doing it, and even if you have, like me, have it, Matt's going to show you some really cool things that you can do. I'm going to tell yeah, you, Canva really is an awesome tool, especially since you can do, there's a free version of it for crying out loud. But it goes way beyond uh, real estate and, you know, and, and, you know, other businesses. If you're a school teacher, it's like a guy, it's like a treasure trove of things you can do. I mean, it really, it, it cuts across everything possible. Or if you're just... Not even if let's say you don't even uh, have a, a job or you're retired or you you can make the most incredible cards and uh, oh, emails and I mean it's it's an incredible incredible program. So right. we're gonna do so one week for the video. I can't wait. So next week you can come in and be live with us. We're gonna do it early in the morning. So if you're if you're if you're I think we're gonna try to what go live at seven thirty. Yeah. Right. So seven thirty West Coast. So our East Coast folks. 
perfect timing for you too. But if you're just up and about and you want to get a 15 minute, quick 10, 15 minute tip or be able to enter, ask us questions, uh, be live with us, you'll just have to come into the group. You get a notification when we go live. And so I think we're doing those on Wednesdays, right? Matt's right. tips on Wednesdays. Yeah. And then on Mondays, I'll cover something real estate related that may be uh, picking up from what we talked about in the podcast, but it will be more of a, we discussed something, so let's go in and look at it and share with you and show it to you. So we're going to keep building that. And we'll have, if you're familiar with groups, we'll be able to create units and have social learning going on there where you can just go back and look at our whole list of things that we've covered, interact with us. So that's what we're going to be doing. Not even waiting for the new year. We're jumping in next week. And then December 2nd is when we're putting on our workshop, which we've already done twice now for a couple brokerages. It's getting some really good reviews and, and um, we're real proud of the product that we put together for that, which is Plan Pivot Prosper, how to master a client-focused tech-powered business in 2021. Right. So we're doing business planning with a spin. We're not putting tons of focus on sitting there and crunching numbers. We're going through what you need to know, but we're really in this workshop covering really successful strategies that we know work because we're using them. I'm using them on my team. It's the things we've been coaching for years. I really think it's one of our best trainings that we've done in quite a while, Matt. Yeah, it's and it, because, again, like you were saying, it's not the typical thing. No one can sit down in a group and put their numbers in. You need to reflect on that and really have time to do that in your on your mm -hmm. own. This is really telling you how to achieve those goals and how to make sure that you're getting where you need to get. And by by using the things that are your strengths, and that's the key. Honestly, and keeping I mean, it simple for crying out loud. Keeping it simple. So we're going to talk about these core principles that we're following, like everything has to be less can be more. Everything needs to be focused on your clients first. So we're just really proud of it, and it's it's forming the basis of our coaching and the new program we're putting together called Run Your Business as a Business, which already contains the 30-day workshop we did during uh, the shutdown, the original shutdown, the original shutdown. Yeah. You know that one a year ago. Almost a year ago, back in March. And so the last little promo here for you is all of our, our core courses, our team builder program, hiring an assistant, the one I was just talking about, we have like five or six courses at WBNLCoaching.com. We're running a Cyber November Gratitude Special. If you use coupon code CYBER2020, you'll get 30% off any of our course offerings, our individual course offerings. So go check it out. It's all over in the show notes. Or just go to WBNLCoaching.com where you can find our store, where you can find our podcast and everything, right? So That's right. You're listening to the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. Join us and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Play, and now on YouTube. All right, let's let's dive into we've been November has been Gratitude Month. October was Business Planning Month, so if you missed any of that, you can go back. But we really recommend coming to our December second show because our workshop because I think you'll get very inspired for the new year. Great way to kick off the new year. Um, but we in November, we've been talking about ways to be grateful. Last week, we had to practice gratitude in your life. And then last week, we shared client connections. And I got to give you some feedback. We're having, I'm having uh, various agents, clients tell me that they're, they're, they were inspired by that, that episode and are putting some things together to reach out to their clients, whether it's a virtual uh, event themselves uh, or just make a gratitude call. The COVID kits are a hit, and I personally have put my COVID kits together because I'm uh, gonna. Uh, I have that for my team members and a few other people in my smaller sphere of influence because I think it's the coolest idea right now. And your kits are awesome. You should talk about how what you actually. And it, yeah. you, you were on a quest, and you you were you succeeded in your quest. Bag. So Matt sent me a picture of his little tote bag when they were him and his wife uh, Laura were going to out to the store, and this is the whole idea, right? He was like, "We have a COVID kit, a travel kit that we take with us, and it has masks, and it has, you know, uh, wipes, and sanitizer, and wipes, sanitizer, and paper towels, and that." And so, so anyway, I went out, and I was inspired by that idea, and I, I, I so I'm looking for the perfect bag, and I have been on a mission all week. I was, I went to Michael's, and it was mostly Christmas stuff, and then all of a sudden, I had this idea, and I called. Matt, because I know that Matt had some of these when I was house slash cat sitting for them 
in the past when you could go take two week vacations to great places. Yeah, back in the day. Um, and it's the, it's like Smith's or Rouse in California has it. Um, I know that Whole Foods had it. And then my stuff's all kind of packed up. And it's basically that little carry tote that has a six pack in it, right? So it's generally for wine. Um, so I called him and I said, hey, do you still have a ton of those? And when you go looking for them and you're like, oh, uh, we only have one of them. Because I was like, how many of these can you have? I, I, I have like five. Right. So I went and I did find like four. So then I was on a quest. So I went to Whole Foods and it's like, I had to buy 12 bottles of my little Yerba Mate teas because they wouldn't sell them to me. Then yesterday I went to, I thought Sprouts. I mean, I think Sprouts has them. So I went to Sprouts. Oh. And I go, do you have those little six packs? She goes, these? And you could buy them for a dollar. That's and awesome. The best part is it's blue and it says, love the wine you're with. So now I'm thinking I'm going to get a bottle of wine and I'm going to put it in with the COVID kit. <laughs> oh my God. So in Not the, kit, the ultimate disinfectant. In the pockets, I have uh, masks, uh, packets of 10 masks. Plus I found kid masks. Got these all at Costco. Um, hand sanitizer. There's like individual hand sanitizers, great for real estate agents and for anybody really. And it has, uh, I found some more, there's wipes. They're not the Clorox wipes, but there's all these other brands now that you can get sure. that are in the soft kit, uh, you know, not a, not a container, uh, soft packaging. So anyway, it's just basically all that. And now I'm going to put a wine bottle in there too. So there you have it. That's our idea. Share it. I think it's great. I should take a picture and we can post it because they're all lined up. Now I just have to figure out how to distribute them. I all right. I know I'm really going down the digression trail here, but if you're going to put a wine bottle in there, you need to make a wine label on there for your company and you need to write a little logo on there. And in the back, you need to write a little gratitude thing about what WB and I'm coaching or whatever. And you attach those labels onto your wine bottle and then it even becomes a more personal gift. Well, that's even a great idea. We yeah, can, I'm telling you. You can though. Once again, we can go back to Canva. I remember when a couple years ago when my sister and I did that whole wine crushing, you know, build, you know, do three your own modeling. The three sisters and you helped us design that that uh, wine bottle um, label. Label. Thank you. Could be the word. Uh, there you go. So more ideas, um, and and that brings us to this simple thing we wanted to share today on celebrating your successes. And so there's a lot of content over in our show notes, but. I got this idea from my Brian Buffini coach years ago, and he was a great guy, Mark. Uh, he is actually, I still think, practicing. He's out of coaching. I think he's practicing real estate in the San Francisco area. Uh, Mark McGrath, and he, not McGrath. I think that's actually, uh, you got to think about his last name right now. Maybe that's it. I feel like that's also somebody who's a singer <clears throat> in a band. Um, but anyway, it is, right? Okay. Anyway, Mark, Mikhail, thank you. I knew it would come to me. It was a Mick, Mikhail. Anyway, Mark, shout out to you. Um, he passed this idea on to me about celebrating your successes. And the thing I wanted to share, because I think it's applicable to most people in our business that are high producing or just you're geared towards being a type A personality and you're driven and you're, you're a business person and entrepreneur and all this. There's a tendency in that type A personality to never be satisfied. And it's always, right. that made me think of, that just made me think of Hamilton. I got a lot of music references going on right now. <laughs> oh my Lord. And, and, uh, I know I'm all over the place today, but oh my God, I'm obsessed with the Hamilton soundtrack because I rewatched it again, right? It's very historical right now to, to uh, watch Hamilton on Disney Plus if you've got Disney Plus because oh my gosh, it's great. And I've been listening to it, and throughout the day, various songs will pop into my head. And you'll never be satisfied is a lyric in one of the songs. Oh, okay. And if you don't know that, <laughs> to continue our yeah. dialogue down to whatever, whatever no, we're going to call no, it, no. off the rails a long time ago. You can't catch the lyrics. Watch it. Watch it with the subtitles, the captions on. The channel oh. the best tip ever I heard from Jan O'Brien. Yeah, well, have you gone back to watch it? Because no, we're gonna watch it. Well, we're we're off next week. We're gonna watch it probably every day. Go do it. Keep that on so you can catch because th there's mostly it's it's a musical and so they're singing the whole time. But they're rapping. anyway. Getting back to Mark <laughs> McHale. Mark McHale. Yeah. So thank you. Getting me back on track. Mark McHale shared this idea of he passed on and said this is what happens. 
you're talking about all these things that you haven't accomplished. So I want you to do this exercise. And the exercise is super simple, but we have it in a workshop, sure, a worksheet uh, for you. So you can just fill it out. And you just basically stop, carve out an hour, and answer these questions and stop and celebrate the little successes along the way. This has been a very tough year for all of us. There's a tendency to focus on the negatives and what you haven't accomplished. So the idea here is, I'm just gonna read a couple of the, uh, the thoughts here and you can use this worksheet or you could just jot it down yourself or stop and take a moment. And then I'll give you a couple ideas of where do you find all this information? So list all your accomplishments, wins, victories, anything that was a positive in the last year. What are some moments of joy or gratitude? What were they, even if they're super small? The cool thing about doing this exercise is once you start the exercise, it leads to thinking of something else, which leads That's to right. something else. And what did you do this year that you're really proud of? Uh, what do other people in your life, ask other people in your life, hey, what what have we accomplished? What what are things that you can think of that we've done together or that, that you would be proud of me for? People that are close in your life, right? Uh, who came into your life or your business in the past year that really made a difference, a positive impact on you? What did you love most about your business? What did you love most about your personal life this year? What did you What did you do this year that moved you towards your goals personally and professionally? There's even a few things in here about how you can take negatives and turn them into positives. So what did you not love about this year? And I always think there's always lessons and things that you you can take from that. What didn't work so well? What was an energy or a time suck? And that'll get you on to a, how do you, where's the positive or what opportunities did you miss? And can you refocus on them? Were there any lessons and that type of stuff as well? And so the idea here is go, if you're, if you're having a hard time getting started with this, go to your Facebook feed. Yeah. <clears throat> I personally don't like posting negative things. A lot of people do. A lot of people will post everything and it's positive or negative, but you generally post things that you're happy or celebrating. So just go back through your year. And just go through your own feed and that might trigger or your Instagram. We have a tendency to post positive things there. Uh, look on your calendar. That might be another idea. Go back and just see what were some milestones that you did if you keep a calendar. So social media, your calendar, uh, maybe asking people that are close to you in your life could help you with this exercise. And you'll come up with this huge list of things that you really are yep. grateful for that you did more than you thought you did, even though you're going, yeah, but I didn't. Don't use that, yeah, but. Okay, that negates everything. You didn't accomplish all these other things. Hey, you know, we, we had a little thing called a pandemic. You know, there were a lot of stuff. There were a lot of restrictions. There were a lot of things that we all had to adjust to. You could celebrate how you just adjusted to how you had to live. And interact. That's right, because the things that might even seem a little bit negative at the time could be a huge win, really, over the long haul. Mm -hmm. So honestly, it's a great exercise. I bring it up every year. I do it every year. I like to share it every year. So if you need a little help with those questions and you want a little worksheet to help you with it, just go to our episode notes for today and you can download it and you can get it. And then back in episode 137, when we started the business planning in October, we started with a whole review of your year. And I had briefly mentioned in that episode another uh, cool thing that's called Start, Stop, Continue. Right. And I think I, I can't remember where I got this idea. I feel like it was from Holstie.com. They have this really cool manifesto that I've always loved that actually have a, a, a framed Holstie, H-O-L-S-T-E-E. -E. I think I got this from them like five years ago. So start, stop, continue. Again, a simple little worksheet for your personal life and your business, which is what would what is something that you would like to start this new year that you know is a positive thing to move you forward in your personal or professional life? What's something you want to stop doing? And what's something that you started that you want to continue? Real simple way to address, um, the, you know, not having goal setting be overwhelming. Right, okay. right. So we have that for you today as well. And that's really all I wanted to talk about. I can tell you one of my favorite things to do at the end of the year is go back through your camera roll on your phone. I mean, the same yeah. idea that you're talking about, but your camera roll, oh my gosh, you'll do things. You'll Because we take so many pictures because it's so easy to take pictures now. I mean, um, you'll see things you're like, that was this year? Uh, you know, and you go back through that. I you always enjoy enjoy that. It is kind of interesting because you can be, the, you, finding the successes really change your mind frame and it can really get you going in a more positive direction, especially Especially if you're feeling down, you know, I was asking myself, you know, um, uh, when we were talking about this topic, you know, was, is, was your, was your 2020 half full or was your 2020 half empty? 
Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, you will answer that question the same way you would answer that question about anything else if you're a half empty or half full person. Yeah, which right? way are you? I yep. hope you're half full. Exactly. My glass is always half full because that's just the way I am. But um, add that, please, Matt. I just added it to my notes. Will you add it to the show notes? Because frankly, that's the best idea right there. Matt, you are just like the idea guy right now. <laughs> hey, that's what else you do. Unless you're my sister, Marion, who deletes <laughs> your photos as soon as she takes them. Right. Uh, if you're like me, you might have thousands of photos that yet you, you need to. So actually reviewing your camera roll for this exercise is brilliant. It's also an opportunity to delete the weird photos that you forgot to delete. Yeah, that so blurry picture of your phone. walking or whatever. Yeah. Or that blurry picture of your phone falling onto the floor of your car. Yes, exactly. Because everyone's got that one too. All right, so there you have it. Go get, celebrate your successes, all your wins, however small they are, add up to a whole bunch of things that it's gonna put you in such a great mindset. In fact, I love doing this exercise and then go into get in the right mind frame of uh, after realizing, wow, I'm pretty, I'm pretty freaking awesome. I did, I did pretty good this year. Then you can jump into a really serious goal setting and planning and stuff for the new year. Very good, good yeah. stuff as always. Right. You're listening to the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. Join us and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Play, and now on YouTube. That's a wrap for episode 144 of the Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where real estate and reality meet. You can find all of our show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. I love gratitude month jan every year it's always it's just great to reflect right i think it's awesome so you know go find your successes go pop a little bottle of vov clico and then start decorating your house for christmas there you go that'll yeah. get you in the mood doing that soon yep we are too we're starting this weekend so what else oh i have a question for you jana brian what is your favorite in the traditional thanksgiving meal because i know you're getting ready to have a very small uh people in your bubble thanksgiving uh what's your favorite part of the thanksgiving meal it's a hard question because it all kind of works together but what's your favorite thing besides doing the whole what are you grateful for i mean your actual food what's your favorite okay. part of the meal i really part? actually enjoy the turkey stuffing cranberry sauce combo yeah i think if i had to actually pick is it possible sorry i gotta add this because i generally never had this and my mom used to always make this just for me and i do it now continuing on is rutabagas oh now that sounds good so i bought i'm ready to buy those because i'm going to make rutabaga and uh just kind of like this like you would as a mashed potato delish oh that sounds really good i would say cranberries cranberries are one are on top of my list too because a lot of the other stuff you have it during Thanksgiving dinner, you kind of have throughout the year. We even have stuffing sometimes. We love stuffing so much. Like, it'll be like, that. like let's make some stuffing and not just have that. But cranberry sauce is something we hardly ever do. Well, uh, in our show notes today, we have some fun facts about Thanksgiving. And there, there's been a study done that kind of tells, uh, uh, that surveyed people, 39% of the people say turkey is the very favorite part of uh, Thanksgiving. 27% of the people say the stuffing is right up there on top. 12% say pumpkin pie, 9% mashed potatoes, which it is kind of funny because mashed potatoes are not really, I mean, you can get them, you have them all the time, right? But it is kind of, you can't, we, I've never had a Thanksgiving meal without mashed potatoes. So it's a simple, right, right. Making that this year. 6% sweet potatoes and only 3% said cranberry sauce. Oh, that makes me kind of surprised, although probably, and we didn't have this when I was growing up, but I know a lot of people that have had the cranberry right out of the can. You can still see the ridges of the cranberries. Well, you I know? have to say, I stick by that. That's my favorite. I don't want to make it. I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> care for the whole hand made with the, somebody making it from scratch. Sorry. That has the cranberries in it. Don't like that. I got to have the can. Oh my God. We'll see, but that's your tradition. And that's awesome. My tradition. Laura, so that's, she that's was growing up. Sweet pea, they always took cranberries. They made a cranberry necklace. And uh, when the turkey would be presented on the table, they'd have the, the, the turkey would be draped in this cranberry necklace. Kind of like making a, a popcorn thing for your tree, right? Yes. Yeah, that's really cool. So we have one in our freezer that we just freeze and we get out every year to put on the turkey. We're not having turkey this year, but we're going to put it on something. Uh, but it's just so cool. A little cranberry necklace that goes on there. A little tradition. So you told me you're not doing cookies. So part of 
the thing for me as a memory, because my mom, my mom was a great cook, and my mom's favorite um, holiday, I think, was Thanksgiving, but even before Christmas, because she loved to cook. And to me, the smell of the turkey cooking, yeah. said Thanksgiving, right. and the parade, and the whole thing, because you start early, because she usually used to cook a huge bird, because we have so many people together. So I crave that, that wanting, that's going to make, that scent is what makes me get into that feeling. So. How do you not cook a turkey on Thanksgiving? Yeah, we're just, I don't know, we're just not in the mood for a turkey. So, uh, we're, and uh, you know what? It's only the week before, so who knows what we might not, uh, do next week. But uh, we're going to have everything else. And, and the Macy's parade this year, you know how they're going to do it, because of course they're not having a parade because of COVID. What are they doing? They are only doing the balloons, and the balloons are not going to be carried by a bunch of people. They have found a way to actually attach them to vehicles. So, just the balloons are going to go down. Broadway. They're not going to let people gather? No, oh, no the... gathering. I didn't even know about this. Thanks for sharing that. Yeah. Well, well I have to confirm that. I, I will confirm that. That's the last I heard about the parade okay. a couple months back, but I'm sure it hasn't changed because now COVID has gotten worse. So, uh, uh, COVID edition. Yep. What? All right. Well, that's the so I think what, what I had heard is like all the floats and then, I mean, all the, the balloons and then Santa. So you're not missing a uh, good old Mr. Claus at the end of the parade. Well, generally it's just in the background anyway. And then it's football. Come on. There's all these traditions. The International dog show. No. <laughs> no, we don't watch that either. But remember when it used to be a miracle on 30? No. Uh, uh, yeah. Was it miracle? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, miracle. Or yeah. the other one? The parade is in that, uh, the original one now with Maureen O'Hara and, uh, little Natalie Wood, I think. So awesome. Yeah. It's been remake and that's that was okay too. That was decent. Oh, I thought that was good. They did a good job on that. All right. So once again, I thought we would be at 20 to 20 minutes on our show today. Yeah. Uh, but we did talk a lot and I'm sure we're going to be close. We're going to be under 30 minutes for sure. Probably. Hey, uh, Jan talked about the opening of our show that we're going to be doing. Um, some uh, Facebook Lives next week. So join us next Monday for our Facebook Live. We're going to do um, kind of continue on this. We'll talk a little bit more about successes. And then next Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, we are going to learn how to make some very cool because you're going to be staying home this year, people, yes. aren't you? No traveling. Stay in your bubble. We're going to be making some really incredible Thanksgiving Zoom backgrounds that you can use on your Zoom meetings. That's what you're going to do in our first tip. Yeah. Matt, I'm g I think we're on to something with this. Come join, and together we're going to do Canva crafts with Matt. Exactly. <laughs> Canva crafts! I like it! Canva <laughs> crafting with Matt. It's Matt Canva Craft Corner <laughs> on the Warmer Than Not Lost Pod. Oh, no, on Facebook Live. You're going to come in and... Okay, so... Okay, okay. This is awesome because I just was in Canva yesterday, and I was trying to create Zoom backgrounds, and I was trying to do it without calling you. Because I wanted to put our logo on, I need some better Zoom backgrounds, so I'll just come to the event. I'll clearly, I'll be there with you, and we'll design them. Thank you. Right. Okay. I got a lot of ideas for this, people. So make sure you come back and you know check out and you know create, you know, put your own spin on it. But you'll you'll get uh, a holiday festive Thanksgiving Zoom background if you come see our Facebook Live. Let me put up our. Our, uh, how to get there again at the bottom of the screen or if you are just listening go to facebook and just type in wanderers club and uh you will be the hit of your thanksgiving soon oh my god this is so fun cool all right yay all right everybody i am grateful for the maths crafts <laughs> in canva that's gonna be my new favorite thing all right. all right everybody get up get out stay safe mask up stay home Find some crafts, be happy, be grateful, find your successes, and be forever wandering, but not lost. Happy Thanksgiving. Woo